Good evening, this is DW from Florida. Right, uh, I did a part one on the Samsung where ND was appearing up on here. Now, obviously, if you saw part one, you would have realized that there was a problem with our pump. Um, so the pump head had actually broken off, the, the actual blade. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you a quick, I think it's about 30 steps on how to replace this pump. But the first thing I will say is always, always disconnect the appliance. You don't have to mess around with the pipes, the drain pipes or anything. As long as you've got a bit of leeway to pull this unit out, that's all we're dealing with. Right, my... After step one, we're going to go to step two. We're going to disconnect the screws at the back. So if you can look here, there's two screws. And this is to take off the top. So the lid's been taken off. Make sure you don't lose the screws. Place the way. Now at this point, some of the Samsung machines have um, a joint here where all the wiring loom goes to, but obviously some of them don't. You do not need to take any wiring looms out. Just lift up out of its brackets and place on top. You've got the rubber here. Underneath the rubber at the very bottom is a spring it's a bit difficult to get to and I think you need some you need this pair of uh, screwdriver just to get underneath it it is a bit difficult because it's, but you don't need to be forcing it in you just need to get it once it comes it will pop out as you can see just slide that off so keep that to one side. Do not take out as this has got a hose there for the water drain for the water. Now you can let this go after you've taken the screws out, push it through, you're not losing it, it's still on a wire. Let's move this up here.
as you can see from down the bottom, it literally just sits on three areas. If your machine has screws underneath, like three screws holding this down, then obviously you will have to lift the base up, um, support it on a uh, box or something strong enough to then unscrew. Now inside here there's some washers, uh, hose pipes, water will come out. So I'm going to let that go onto the floor. And you will need bull nose pliers to do that. Um, actually, oh, let's see if I can... On this one, there's a little rubber, bit of rubber here, which if I get this out, you can see. That sits in side there. And then pulls forward, or as you're taking it out, push it forward, uh, backwards, lift up. And it's all it is, is just a rubber holder. Something to hold it. You probably can get this clamp here or uh, grip with your hand and it should move slide off or like I said get some of these adjustables squash it together move it out of the way this will just pull straight off water will come out get the towel down to clean it now that's your overflow, sorry, that's your drainage pipe, the one I just took off. Now, you have a, one more to take off pipe, and that was the last, the third. This will allow you to get it out a bit further. Here's your drainage unit. This here looks like it's blocked but it actually goes the opposite direction. Water travels that way and pushes that little door open. Here is your cage, where obviously you can see how dirty it is. So I'll put that back in, make sure it goes in the right way. You didn't need to open that, I was just showing it you. And it can only go on one way. Take off the little plastic cover and it's just pull like so. Make sure you note where the color code is. On this one, blue is on your right, gray is on your left. That allows you, keep that away from the water, that allows you to deal with opening up the three screws for the pump assembly. One, two, three. Make sure you don't lose any of the screws that will just come out. As you can see, that's the motor, there's the fan. That has actually broken off through rust and obviously hard wear. Now, if you're replacing this, leaving this unit open, there is the model number on there. This says June uh, 28th, I think it is, or 26, 28, 2012. It's now 19, 2019. 
the model number you need is B40-3 for this model. This costs $72 online, uh, $72 something or whatever, but, and obviously uh, shipping, maybe another $9, $10, $12. There is another model which has a different model number, um, and it's $92 to buy, and then postage and packaging. But mine was the cheaper model, which was good. I'm going to replace that with my new. Here's the number of the model DC31 hyphen zero 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 five four D. The packaging. As you can see, nice and new. Now we're going to do the opposite of what we've just done. This goes only one way. Now let me just re remember which way it went. Um, as you can see, there's these lugs here and there's the lugs there. But obviously, bearing in mind, uh, if that's going... Which way does that go? Just remind me, that, that's going that way. If that's going that way, as it should be, this pump should be like so. I'll just get it into its place, there. So as you can see that it sits in its housing, but you can't really get mistake it because on this side, you will see where the screws actually go. So screw one. Two. And three, let me see, it was, which one was it? One of these, I think it was that one. No, it was that one. Sorry. Do the opposite of what you've just done. So now we go back to the electrics. Put your grey on. Your blue. Sure, they look good. Cover it over. Clip down. Now, slide that back inside. Get your pipe through. And your connections. Um, Grey drainer goes on the left bottom pipe, making sure you clip back up. Easily goes on. Sorry, this connection, the black pipe, goes on the bigger one at the back. Now, as you can see there, there's like a V or a cutout that goes as it should go along the line here. There, uh, yep. Now you tighten it up. And this is, I can hand tight, open and close that, as you can see. Now, these pipes need to be fitted back into their holders just to stop it from wiggling around. And this goes in the top. Again, you've got that cutout that goes down. Clip over. So, this out. Uh, yeah, I need to push it further back and slide it in. As long as those two screws, yes, they line up. Yes. Okay.
There's your pump back in its housing. Clean some of that floor up there. Now what we do is this is where the door goes on. Again, make sure the pipe goes through the door. Make sure that's moved out of the way. Sit the door onto its frame at the bottom. Push in. Make sure, yep. Yeah. And push. And it clips on in its spot. Now we don't need to bother about those screws yet. Open up this area. sure you've got the door in the right spot the cable should go to the top you can't really get it wrong because there's a switch that goes in there the door release goes there and it goes right the two screws will go back on Before I mess around with this, I'm just going to put the screws back up here, and there's four screws. Now if you want to come down and finish off this door before we finish messing around with the seal, then that's one less thing. So put this back in its little housing area. Put your two screws inside there. It's a longer area that goes in first so the right goes in first push in close now if your unit has a sc three screws underneath some do you would need to raise this push this forward like so put a support underneath and just screw those down with the wire this is the awkward bit. Make sure everything looks good. Pull it out like so. This lip pulls out further and pushes in. And you can do that as you move around and it'll and just encourage it to go in. This is the seal, so this is very important. And it will go in nice and gently if you're doing it right. You don't need to force it, pull it out and let it find its way in. seal 
is now in. But what you must do is this pulls. Now it's got a nice tight grip. So start at the top, work your way around into the very back section, what you've just forced in. Come on. There you go. And it's in. So once you've got it in, pull it apart, help it, and it finds its way in. So that's now done. That's closed. Now we go on to the top control unit. And it slides into its gaps. And it sits. Those two sit in. And those two sit in there. That should be moving out of the way still. We got pushes in from here and it fits in if you can see it put the head in and it clips in so hopefully you can see that and then the top will put one screw in there it finds its home one, and pushing forward, so remember to put these back in, or this pipe back in those brackets there, and then the last thing we need to do, or second last, is put this back in, this will just slide straight in. So push and it's locked back in. Now we've got the two screws at the back. This goes lift at the top. two screws in and they go on the top not the bottoms I think these the screw area the four screws you see the holes are for if you are putting a dryer on top of the washing machine I'm going to this one here then you would use these four as a bracket to support the dryer that stands on top of it. Then we shall plug this back in. I'm going to push this back towards the wall. I'm not going to put it into its home yet. I just want to show you working. Now, if you go down to my level here and listen, I'm going to start the washing machine going on a basic uh, quick wash and you shall hear the pump working as soon as I turn this on. It will kick, it will start the noise going. And if you hear that, that was the fan turning, which it should do, ready, emptying all the old water out of the pipes, ready for the new stuff, and the washing machine starts. 
to fill up. That's good. So I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to do another start and stop again. So I'm powering it off. I'm going to turn it back on. And listen to the pump. You can safely hear the water's now being sucked out, so we now know that works. So this is DW thanking you again on life's lessons. Please subscribe. Any questions, I'll help you. If you need to know where I got it from, the part, whatever, just let me know. Um, again, thank you. Thumbs up, thumbs down, not bothered. Whatever you want to do, ask me as many questions as you want. I'll answer you within the hour or as much as I can, when I can. You take care. I'm signing out. Have a great evening and a great life. Take care.